The idea of harnessing the ocean to generate electricity may seem groundbreaking, but in fact, the principle has been around for over a hundred years. Ocean thermal energy conversion was first proposed as a concept by Captain Nemo in Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. In the early 1880s, it was the French physicist Jacques d'Arsonville who came up with the first practical system. However, it was only several decades later that the first OTEC plant was built and developed being installed in Cuba in 1930. This was by George Claude, who was a student of Darsenville's. Unfortunately, this pioneering structure was destroyed by a tropical storm, and it took four decades for new implementations. During the 1970s and 80s, the United States and Japan led experimentations with OTEC. The first OTEC plant capable of producing reasonable amounts of electricity, roughly 15 kilowatts of net power, was built by American researchers in Hawaii in 1979. The so-called Mini OTEC was a closed cycle system mounted on a US Navy barge a few kilometers off the coast. Following that, in 1981, Japanese businesses tried another experiment with an OTEC closed cycle in Nauru. This plant was capable of producing 35 kilowatts of net electricity, marking another important advancement for the technology's implementation. Since then, researchers have worked on improving heat exchangers and devising techniques to reduce saltwater corrosion and other system components. And there have been some other small-scale, non-commercial implementations over the years. But OTEC history is also happening right here, right now at Global OTEC, as we are building the first of a kind 1.5 megawatt commercial floating OTEC platform to be installed on the African island of Sao Tome and Principe. Sign up to our newsletter following the link in the description and stay updated on our latest project developments.